Hello everybody, and in this presentation I'm going to be talking about psychoanalysis. So what is psychoanalysis? We're going to start with some background information on Sigmund Freud, who is the creator of the theory of psychoanalysis. So here's a short quote by Sigmund Freud, the ego is not master in its own house. This is addressing one of his later theories and one of the focuses of this presentation. So here's some background information on Sigmund Freud. He was born in Moravia in 1856, which is located here. And he grew up in Vienna in Austria, which is located here. He practiced medicine in Vienna until the Nazis basically kicked him out. He sought to apply a critical method of science to psychic disorders, which later led to his development of the theory of psychoanalysis when he transitioned from medicine to philosophy. In his earlier theories, Freud can be seen toying around with uh, notions about dreams and sexual anatomy, specifically how dreams uh, can be interpreted to be relevant and when people become sexually awakened. His later theories focused more on the conscious mind and the psyche and how we can uh, kind of diagnose them to get a better understanding of ourselves. Thus, the basis of psychoanalysis was formed. It is basically the animalistic part of our psyche. Uh, the one, the best examples of this are the seven deadly sins, such as lust, greed, gluttony, etc. Superego is basically our morals and controls our uh, id impulses by imposing on us things that are social that society forbids, such as having sex or punching someone in the face just because you don't like what they have to say. Now, ego is the mediator between the two. Uh, which allows us to value our morals in our world and kind of respect people while also allowing us to indulge from time to time. Here is the relation between the three. We can see how id and superego are completely separated because they are directly opposites to each other. Ego is the only one touching both because it is the mediator between the two. Now we can see a little bit better description of all three in terms of visual visually. Id is the devilish, instinctual part of us that just kind of goes for things. Superego is our morals um, and is kind of our angelic properties. And ego is us as humans, how we have to cope between the two uh, parts of our psyche and how we have to mediate between the two. Here's another quote by Sigmund Freud. The conscious mind may be compared to a fountain playing in the sun and falling back into the great subterranean pool of subconscious from which it arises. This is basically addressing how we may feel that we are completely uh, capable of controlling our feelings and emotions and whatever about our mind, but in reality, we do rely a little bit on the subconscious uh, pre-built um, parts of our mind. Now, the effects of psychoanalysis. It's stretched far beyond just philosophy. And so, this is why we have these couple of slides. So, at this point, I would really recommend you stop reading what is on the uh, PowerPoint and instead just listen to what I have to say because I'm going to make it a little bit easier to understand. So psychoanalysis is the basis for most all contemporary forms of psychotherapy today. Uh, it has an enormous, it had an enormous impact on treatment of mel mental illnesses and illnesses in general because it addresses the mind and the body instead of previous methods which solely worked on fixing the body. Freud also influenced approaches to literary texts creativity, and sociology, and he applied psychoanalytic prop principles to art and religion, calling religion a primitive quasi-psychotic projection, which basically means crazy people made up stuff about God to, because they didn't know or have anything else to do. Now, what led to the decline of uh, psychoanalysis? Basically, the rise of feminism. When Simone de Beauvoir criticized how general Freud's theories were and discredited Freud's theories by saying that his views of male original superiority were not predetermined by the mind, but were in fact socially induced, along with several other criticisms of psychoanalysis, it decreased greatly in its popularity and soon fell out of favor uh, because it was just criticized too harshly by uh, the feminist advocates. And so I just want to leave you with a quote to think about. Uh, most people do not really want freedom because freedom involves responsibility and most people are frightened by responsibility.